Help me with arms because of God. A blind beggar calls out to motorists at a traffic stop. A girl offers her slim shoulders to carry responsibility way beyond her age for a thousand naira fee daily. Clutching a stick with one hand and the other on his guide's shoulder, he follows her lead from vehicle to vehicle. They're everywhere on the streets of Meduguri, making out a living the only way they know how. The red traffic light is a signal to cast their nets on the road and try their luck on waiting cars. The begging culture for the physically challenged has now given room to child abuse. People can now lease out their children to lead the blind for a fee. Her grandfather is my friend. We have been together for nearly two years. There's never been any problem since we started. She helps me and I give her tips every day. I believe no harm will come to her. It is God that protects us. He does everything for us and he's our creator. His guide, an 11-year-old girl displaced from Goza, fled to me degree with her parents. She's now the sole breadwinner of her family. Those ones hawking always seize the money given to us and run away with it. Even the disabled ones do it. If he gets a job, I'll stay at home and go to school and help my mother. Right now, I make money for her because she does not do any trade. The Association for the Physically Challenged in Borneo State are worried about the challenges their members face in the tough jungle of eking out a living. Only an ignoble fraction of that population have embraced self-reliant livelihoods. Years of advocacy have finally paid off with the bill for the physically challenged now at the second reading at the Brno State House of Assembly. If they wanted to employ people in the society, we, we need access to them, to including us, because we can do anything. Our land cannot work in Amabo, but we brain, our brain can work. We do not have the opportunity to contest an election or express ourselves. We believe that the bill will address that. And the issue of jobs, we keep saying it. We don't have jobs. Disabled people do not have jobs. The sponsor of the bill, the member representing Meduguri Metropolitan Council, explains why the bill is important. When the commission is established, 90% of the staff from that commission will be people living with disability. And it will accommodate their children. In 2019, the federal government signed the Discrimination Against Persons with Disability Prohibition Act into law. If successfully passed, Borno becomes the 11th Nigerian state to domesticate the law. Presentation.